ora. This is Arun Jacob, your friendly and frank licensed New Zealand immigration advisor. And if you wonder where I'm standing and making this video, it is that beautiful building here at the lovely Lincoln University campus uh, in the town of Lincoln, which is just south of uh, Christchurch. I'm here today with Julian Becker from the International Department uh, of Lincoln University. So what's with the name Lincoln? Because a lot of people think it right. goes to Abraham Lincoln. Is that true? Yeah, Lincoln. And I get this question asked all the time, what is Lincoln? Is it connected with the American Abraham Lincoln? Uh, sorry to say it's not. Uh, we're actually situated in a little place called Lincoln on the outskirts of Christchurch. And that is what the university is named after. Fantastic. So what's the kind of percentage of international students coming to Lincoln and what kind of subjects are they mostly coming for here? So uh, Lincoln University, uh, as we're known, is a specialist land-based university. So uh, sort of subject areas are around those sort of agriculture, agricultural sciences, uh, environmental management and environmental sciences. And then we have tourism management, uh, agribusiness and, and general business subjects. Uh, along with landscape architecture, uh, sport and recreation, and, and food. Food is a big thing here at Lincoln because it connects them with the agriculture as well. Absolutely. Well, thanks for that lovely introduction, Julian. And now, if you would like to take us for a walk around your beautiful campus, we would like to showcase that to our students as well. So, we are now inside that beautiful building, Julian. So, tell us what's happening here now. Um, so, here in the uh, library, I mean, it's much like any uh, university library is really the heart of the university for the students. Um, we have um, Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi throughout campus as well as here, but really it's uh, a place for students to, to get together and work on their, their assignments, their case studies, uh, their projects. Um, this this library is open seven days a week mm -hmm. and um, there is unlimited internet access, so there's no block on social media or anything like that. Fantastic. We're back in the uh, Lincoln University Food Lab and I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Luca Savanti. Uh, Dr. Savanti has a specialisation in food innovation and he's going to tell you a little bit about uh, food science here at Lincoln University. Yes, here at Lincoln University we have two programs on food science, one at bachelor level and one master, and in both of them we focus on food innovation particularly. So this facility is very important because it's the one place of the department where we can produce food grade products that can later be tested either instrumentally or by people in the sensory lab. And so the idea is to use this place for both teaching and research. And sometimes the two things can overlap as well. What are the kind of employment outcomes that a student can expect after completing a course from the Food Innovation Program at Lincoln? So typically a food graduate will have at least three different options. One is working on food manufacturing, one is quality assurance and control, and the third one is R&D, research and development. And most of our graduates find employment, for instance, in dairy company doing quality assurance and manufacturing, but we also have examples of students who found jobs in bakeries, in bakery companies or smoothies and beverages doing R&D and innovation. So how many students stay on the uh, campus uh, accommodation? Uh, on campus we have just over 600 beds. Oh, yeah. uh, there's a mixture of uh, fully catered and semi-catered. Yeah. Uh, and and self-catered, sorry, as well. Yeah. Uh, and we have self-catered flats, which yeah. we're walking towards at the moment, yeah. uh, but further out. Yeah. Uh, and mainly our sort of second and third year or our study abroad or our master's students would look for the self-catered option. Okay. Or there is also a homestay option, so we yeah. can help students and place them in homestays. Fantastic. And there's also private board in the Lincoln Township, which is about a you know, probably about a one to one and a half kilometer down the road, All right. walking distance to the university. Hey Julian, can you tell us a bit about these buildings around us? Well, actually Aaron, these are our, our self-catted flats, they're actually referred to as our farm road flats. Um, each, each house, each unit has four bedrooms and, uh, and a kitchen and a shared kitchen and bathroom. Uh, and they build quite a community here throughout the semester. So most likely you will see a lot of our American exchange students here yep. and uh, probably more our master's students, not so much our bachelor students. It's okay. more catered, it's more as a sort of design for mature students. Okay. This is called the Burt Sutcliffe Oval. Uh, this is the cricket ground based on the university campus. Uh, we are quite lucky in that we host a number of first class 
and kind of international matches as well mm -hmm. throughout the summer. Mm -hmm. The Burt Sutcliffe Oval here is actually part of the uh, a, a bigger sort of uh, cricket presence we have on campus. Uh, we actually host the New Zealand High Performance Cricket Academy on campus. Wow. Uh, they're not connected with any academic programs, but visually we see a lot of the senior New Zealand players training uh, throughout the year. Uh, and also some of the up-and-coming uh, young New Zealanders that are coming through the academies and that sort of thing. Yeah. You block some now. I'll just get the individuals. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. I can give it a try. What do you think, Arun? Pretty good. Yeah. Got a couple of seeds, but this is where the university students come and learn their viticulture. And Julian, do you want to talk a little bit about the viticulture? Yeah, so um, here we're at the, um, the vineyard. Um, at Lincoln, we run a, a Bachelor of Viticulture and Enology, a Graduate Diploma in Viticulture and Enology, a Masters of Wine and Viticulture, and also a PhD program. Um, so what is great is that this, this vineyard is within about, say, five to six minute walk to accommodation, to lecture theatres. So, uh, and, and students in the bachelor program, the graduate diploma, or all levels of programs are actually out here um, using the gra growing grapes and making wine. So it's, it's, a, it's a requirement for students doing the, the bachelor and the graduate diploma to have responsibility for part of a row of grapes, as you can see here. And they will um, grow these grapes, they will harvest them, and they will make wine. So this is the uh, University Gym. Uh, for all students enrolled at Lincoln actually get free membership to the gym while they're studying here at Lincoln. Um, there is an aerobics uh, room next door and a really good setup here. Uh, it's open seven days a week and uh, there's also a Les Mills uh, aerobics program that runs uh, the, throughout the week as well. So Julian, can you tell us what's happening in this very beautifully designed building? Well, Aaron, this is our School of Landscape Architecture. Mm -hmm. um, actually, our landscape program has celebrated 50 years, I think, last year. Mm -hmm. uh, we offer a Bachelor of Landscape Architecture, which mm -hmm. is a four-year professional uh, undergraduate degree, okay. internationally recognised, yeah. and then a one-year master's program that follows that. Um, what you can see here, we're up on the, the first floor, is all of the studios that we uh, use for the program. So normally the blocks are broken down into the years of year one, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. So it's quite an, an, an open sort of plan environment up here mm -hmm. um, with, with uh, students working on their projects and their designs. Mm -hmm. So Julian, we are obviously in a very, very impressive sort of a hall here with that beautiful projection uh, behind us. Can you explain a little bit about this to us? Well, Aaron, this is um, one of our lecture theatres. It's actually the largest lecture theatre on campus here at Lincoln. Mm -hmm. It can hold, I think, just under 300 students. Okay. Normally, our lecture theatres are, you know, probably not normally pushing near that amount. Uh, so you'll normally find our bachelor students and graduate diploma students uh, would be using these facilities. Okay. Um, and normally, all of the lectures are delivered by PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. In some cases, we have the ability to record lectures and then sometimes some academics will record their lectures and share with students uh, on, on our intranet uh, later in the day. So there you have it, boys and girls and uh, parents watching this uh, particular video. I'm proudly wearing my Lincoln t-shirt, which was gifted to me by Julian and his team. Uh, but I would strongly endorse you to consider Lincoln University in New Zealand. It is very cool. It has got all the good subjects that you're looking for and it is bound to create a good background for you to be able to look at a successful career. And talk to us at AJV and we will make it happen in association with the wonderful staff here at Lincoln. See you later, till the next time. This is Arun Jacob, your friendly and frank licensed New Zealand education and immigration advisor.